take a look at uh, photo page two. Right after you see the damaged eye of John and the helicopter pictures, we're going to go back to some of these space images of machines up there that uh, John was able to capture. And there are some close-ups as well. And when you think of satellites, you often think of uh, a rocket with a nose cone and it gets up into orbit, of course, and then out into space and the nose cone opens up and the satellite is just deployed. Or in the, in the case of the space shuttle, we've watched a number of satellites be deployed from the cargo bay of the space shuttle. And I would just ask you, do these look like satellites? Uh, what, what do they look like? This first group of uh, five images, it's marked number eight if you look off to the right-hand side. There's a little eight there. Uh, it's, it's the same craft, and what John has done is been able to enlarge and enhance part of the lower uh, piece of it. And you'll see that at the top left. Uh, if you look to the right, it's the long boom that sticks down. But in the top left, it's been uh, rotated. It looks like uh, 180 degrees, so that that point is sticking off to the left in the top picture. And there's a, like a post or a point near the bottom of that boom, which in the other pictures is sticking off to the right. So that's been flipped, I would guess. John, this one is uh, another strange one. Um, what, what kind of explanations have you come up with for what these things are? What, what do people tell you? Well, um, allegedly, I'm going to say, because uh, uh, I don't want to get into trouble, um, J Jerry Gilmore again, he, he's been, he was so wonderful about everything for quite a long time with me. Um, he, he actually encouraged me many times in e emails to go public, because he could, he, could, he could see I was worried about it. And he said, no, go public. Um, go and tell everybody, share it all over the internet in books and magazines. And he actually quoted at the bottom, get the, I quote his words, get the recognition for what you have done is really good and for your results. And he actually encouraged me to do it. And I, I did. And yeah, um, he, he said that they were the Star Wars project. He called some of them satellites. Um, and it, it even gave me websites where you could go where other people have, had filmed the same thing. Um, it was incredible. Uh -huh. um, he said that there were um, actual um, Star Wars projects. I've seen um, a few images, by the way, that other people have taken of these kinds of things. Uh, not yours. Yeah. Other people have captured similar things yeah. up there as well. Now, this is a... a... Yeah. Go, go ahead, John. Yeah, I sent it in to you. Um, other examples from a, a Japanese web page. Um, yeah, yeah. They, they, they sort of do it hobby, competition, amateur hobby thing. And they're doing exactly the same thing. Uh, not as close, but they are doing it. And you can see exactly the same um, long section in the middle, um, a tethery box section in each end or whatever. Uh -huh. And... They also prove one important factor. If you look at the images, look at mine and theirs, you will see a similarity. It's a very important similarity. What it is, around the edges of, of the image, it looks like it's a bit hazy and... Um, Correct. It's, fuzzy. You know, yeah. they, fuzzy. And, and theirs look the same. Yeah. Yeah. You've got that fuzzy bit around it. But if you process it in this wonderful software that I shared tonight, you can make um, grab all the, the best images from, say, um, at, if you're on, if you just lock onto it as long as possible, and then grab all those images and you take out all the best ones, and you make a much sharper picture. But I like to just give the raw picture so I don't get accused of processing it. Does that make sense? Sure. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Top left uh, in this group of five is your sharpest uh, object. Now, take a look at that. That that's a that's a machine of some kind. Is it ours? Is it Star Wars? Star Wars, of course, was put up there as a, a strategic, defensive, offensive weapons system. 
that was designed mm-hmm. to shoot down uh, Soviet rockets. It was designed p- possibly, potentially, to uh, to take on aggressors from other worlds. Uh, but go ahead, John. Yeah, that that's amazing. Amazing thought you just uh, put there. Um, uh, you know, to to build something of that magnitude way back then. Yeah, um, it makes you think what we've got now. Well, I'm told that we're 30 years ahead minimum technologically from what uh, is released to the public. And I wouldn't be at all surprised. Mm. That would go hand in hand with what you captured here uh, 10, 12 years ago and more. Wow. All right, let's go down to to the next picture, which is number 10. Look at the lower right corner of the picture. Now, this one, that is an absolutely...